What's going on guys, it's That Golf Grind back with another video and today I'm gonna help you fix that nasty slice. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment, it helps me out a lot. And make sure you stick to the end of this video because my most important tip is gonna be the last one. All right, so if you have one of these things, a driver, we love it sometimes, we hate it, but what we really hate it is when we hit that terrible left to right shot or right to left shot if you're a lefty, just goes way too far right, slices the crap out of it. So today I'm gonna go over some things that's gonna help you get rid of that shot because we don't want that in our bag. The first thing we're gonna talk about is our alignment. Now the slice starts right when you set up to the ball. Usually people set up is all messed up and they're wondering why they're hitting it right, but they could just be aimed right in the beginning. So it's super important we're lined up correctly to start. So when we address the ball, what I like to do is pick out my target line. So wherever I'm aiming, I wanna draw a line straight back to the ball and pick about a spot, you know, a foot, foot and a half in front of the ball to line my club face up to. So once I get my club face aligned, I take my feet, make it parallel with the club face. Just to make sure everything's squared up. Now we take our shoulders, make sure our shoulders are squared. Our shoulders shouldn't be pointed too far to the right, shouldn't be pointed too far to the left, nice and square with our feet. Guys, you have to make sure that you're lined up correctly before you start the golf swing because you know, that in and of itself could cause the slice. People tend to line up with the club face way wide open to the right, and they're wondering why they're hitting it, hitting a crazy slice. Well, it's because they're starting off aimed right. So make sure you dial in your setup. The second thing we want to check is our club path. When we hit a slice, what happens is our club path is coming crazy outside to end, creating that left to right spin, making the ball go to the right. All that combined with an open face. So what that means is people are coming like this and way over the top cutting across the ball. We don't want that to happen. Here's a super easy drill you can do that'll help you swing more around your body. Take your driver head cover, place it just on the outside of your ball, a little behind it. What we're gonna do is when we set up to the ball, we do not wanna hit this head cover on the way down, right? So what this is gonna do is force us to swing more from the inside, right? Dropping it inside and swinging around our body. Also what it's doing is keeping our arms nice and close to our Body so we're not spread like this, which causes you to hold the face wide open. So what you want to do, set up to the ball, make sure you're all lined up, take a nice easy swing through the ball without hitting the head cover. The main thing that's causing our slice is the club face being wide open through impact, so we need to fix that. So what we're gonna do is we wanna feel like when we're coming down and through the ball, that the toe of our club face is having time to come through the ball. This is called releasing the club. So if you hear anyone talk about releasing the golf club, it's pretty much having that face come back to center and pass through the ball. So there's a couple different things we can do to feel this. One is when we're coming down through the ball, feel like your left forearm or your front forearm is rolling over through impact. Now you want to be super careful with this. You don't want to flick your wrist through impact. You want to have a nice loose grip. You don't want to grip the club too hard. Loosen up the hands and give that your hands a chance to pass through the ball which will then release the club face getting it back to square. Maybe hit a little bit of a draw. Alright the last thing is something super common that a ton of us do in the golf swing that we don't really realize but it makes us slice the ball and we're wondering how. So I'm going to show you guys. So we're coming down through the ball a lot of people don't get off their back foot, which means they're leaning back through impact. That club face is wide open, going way to the right. So what we wanna to do to fix this is make sure when we're back here, we're loaded up on our back leg, and then we're pushing off the ground, transitioning to our left side, our front side, finishing with our chest up instead of with our chest back. If you look at all the pro golfers, they're always finishing on their left side, kind of posted up like this. You never see anyone leaning back because it's gonna go to the right. There's absolutely nothing you can do. So make sure you're pushing off your back leg, finishing on your left side or front side, posting up with your chest up. It'll help the ball not go right. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, you need to be aligned correctly. Make sure your body, feet, club head are all lined square. Make sure you're swinging around your body, not coming over the top. Make sure your club head is releasing through impact, not staying wide open. And also make sure you're finishing nice and high on that front leg. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you're subscribed, hit that like button, leave a comment for me, and stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you.